Hey everyone, so this video is pretty long overdue and I do apologize for that one. Uh, basically, we're going to follow up with the Maya Classroom, the introduction to Maya. In the first video, we learned the user interface, how to use certain shortcuts. The second one, we started working on this room, which we didn't complete much. All we did was the cauldron, the stones under, and the table, if I remember correctly. But on this video, as you can see, we're going to go from what we had in the second phase to this. Now, I'm not going to explain too much of the rendering and the lights and the textures. This is going to come at a later stage. Uh, probably the next video will be about that. But here we're going to learn how to finish the entire modeling for everything you see in this screenshot. So here we go. I'm going to first of all delete pretty much everything. So that we don't get confused. Oh, we had the table. Yeah. So the little pieces and those little knickknacks that you see all around, those are very easy to get to. And they're mainly cylinders, so that's pretty simple to actually start modeling. A lot of the things are copied, which is fantastic for us. So like for an example, the books are all copied. Uh, I don't know what that is. That's also stone. bottle caps, the stairs, and all of these can go. So I'm just going to show you from scratch exactly how we start building this entire environment. And in the later stage, how to render and texture using Arnold rendering inside of Maya 2018. So here we're almost done finishing up on everything. There we go. So we were somewhere here. Now this shelf was completely not here. So what I did is I took this table that we did, control D, move it up, scale it with R all the way down, scale it like so, and move it into place. For the stairs, pretty much the same exact thing. I'm going to take this actual piece, bring it down over here, scale it down a little bit. Move it into position, drop it down somewhere to the foot height. Then I'm going to press Shift D, move it a little bit slightly above, like so, and then press Shift D again. What this does is that it repeats the last function you did with the copy. So I can do this. It understands and remembers the amount you translated everything to, which is great for us. So what I want to do as well is do the walls. So for the walls, quite simple. Just grab a box, put it somewhere outside. Let me just remove this here. Put it somewhere outside and just scale it up. Give it kind of a brick shape. We're going to delete the bottom piece. We don't need that. So click delete edges. I'm going to add a few edges here. So first I'm going to grab the bottom, scale it up a little bit just to give it a bit more geometry here, a bit more of a look. Create a insert edge loop tool. Here, here. Create those little loops so that the edges stay exactly where we want them to be. And there we go. So if I press three on this, it will stay exactly where it is like so. So now I'm gonna take this little piece, put it all the way here, rotate it like so. So I want some specific degrees here. So I'm going to go to my attribute editor on the top right, polycube221, rotate it, and see which value is changing. So I know this is changing. Minus 90. That value is changing. So again, minus 90. And now I can place this on the wall. Like so. It's a little bit too big for my taste, so I'm going to scale it down a bit. There we go. And what I'm going to do is just position it on the bottom right here. Or actually on the top we have more space, yes we do. We have more space to be able to see because the table is in the way. So here, and what I'm going to do is a Shift D, move it to the side until it touches the other one, and Shift D until it goes to the other side. Grab them all using Shift and clicking. Right click, uh, sorry, Shift right click, and we're going to do a combine. And now I'm going to Control, or sorry, Shift D this, downwards and move it like so 
I'm also going to grab one of these. It's going to be a little bit complicated, so what I'm going to do is try to get right, right in here. And make sure I remove this part. And then this part. Making sure nothing else is selected. There we go. And I'm just going to control D, this copy it to the side. Oop, it took something else. Let me just go object mode. Control one. Let me see if I double click on this, we'll just grab it. Thank you. Control D and move it to the side. Or I'm going to have to split this up. So shift right click. Uh, actually, sorry, mesh right here. Mesh. Uh, where were we? Edit mesh. I need to get something that has to do with divisions now I need to detach thank you detach and then you go to mesh and you separate this so now it's a single piece control 1 control D I'm just going to move it to the side like so and reattach it to the other one so combine there we go we're going to grab both of these shift D Move them down, then shift D, shift D, shift D until it touches the ground. Grab all of these. Combine. Control D, move them here and rotate minus 90 degrees. There we go. Make sure three on your keyboard is activated just to smooth it down a bit. Perfect. Now for the door. We're going to get a box. Position it where we want it to be. Somewhere around here. Perfect. I'm going to add a few subdivisions by going to my attribute editor, polycube, increasing a few subdivisions here. These are going to stay at one, but these are going to go a little bit higher. And a few here. Great. Face, grab these. One, two, three, four, five. Remove this one. And I'm going to extrude up. Vertices, and I'm going to drop these down. Drop them down a little bit. Grab these. A little bit more. Oops, missed one. And the final two pieces right here, drop them down as well to create that arc, that kind of an arc. So now I'm going to grab these faces. I do not need the bottom pieces, so I'm going to control one, check out these bottom pieces and remove them. Delete, object mode, control one, there we go. And grab these faces. Perfect. Shift right click, extrude the face. And I want to make sure that keep faces together off. Actually, no, we want it on, sorry. And increase the thickness a little bit. Something went wrong here. Let me try again. Oh yeah, something definitely went wrong here. There we go.
and we're going to grab the front faces like so and extrude those out as well. Good, and I want to keep the faces together off. So let me do it again, sorry. Keep faces together off and increase the thickness and scale them. Oh, it's not doing it correctly. There we go. That's what I wanted, a bit of offset. And object mode, and we can put this in like so. Edges, we could create a few edges just to help it along if I want to smooth it out. So here, here, and on each one on the parallels. That way the stones are perfectly smooth and where we want them to be. Next, a few things off the actual on the on the actual table. So a flask is very easy to do. You just grab a cylinder, sorry, not a sphere. Oh, we actually have the chest first. Let's do the chest first. So a box. In place, scale it to the desired. Size, bring it forward, move it up. There we go. Face, grab this one, extrude it up. And we're going to add a few subdivisions here. So let me add a few subdivisions. Oh, sorry, I can't do that yet. Edges. So I'm going to put one in the middle, one in the middle here, center, center. I could have done an offset, but it's fine. Edge. Grab this one, move it up. These two, like so. What we're going to do as well is multi-cut this, so I can go to my face, shift right click, multi-cut, grab this vertex, and go all the way to the other vertex. That's number one. And number two. Perfect. I want all of these to be extruded just a tiny bit out. And actually, no, it's not going to look good. I'm going to keep them like this. But what I'm going to add is some edges in the center to create a bit of structure. So we're going to use that to our advantage. So edges, insert that loop tool. I'm going to add one here. One in the center, and I'm going to offset this. Once. Twice. And one here. Object mode, control one. Face, I'm going to delete everything on the bottom. Uh, 
grab these and this one and this one and the bottom piece there we go shift right click extrude I'm gonna extrude them a little bit edge insert edge loop tool actually what we can do here instead is go to faces grab them all grab these so I don't have to create edges to be able to make it look better what I can do here is extrude a tiny bit first uh, it's not going to go like this so I'm going to go try a little bit like this good press G again extrude a bit more and G one more time extrude a tiny bit more great and now we can fix a few of the issues that have to do with the center pieces Make sure all the corners have edges properly made, and there we should have it. There we go. Uh, now what we're going to do is those little assets over here. So the book is the easiest one. Just grab a box. Position into place. I'm going to put it on the top bookshelf right there. Scale it up. Not too thick, there we go. Control one. Face. Actually now what we want to do here is an edge. A few of these, one here. Sorry for the amount of trucks passing by. And that should be it. Perfect. So edges. I'm going to grab this one and this one and this one and move them back actually with these. Slightly back. Grab these three. Four. Move them back a bit more. And the center one. There we go. Grab the faces. Like so. Extrude. Scale them in. And scale like so. You're basically doing is creating an edge. Press G to repeat the command and we're gonna decrease the thickness a little bit. There we go, we have a book. What we have to do here now is go to insert edge loop tool, insert one here, one here and one in the center just to make sure. There we go, perfect. Control one. Now we can copy this multiple times. To add something like a flask, we can take a cylinder, position into place, so 
So here I would like to make like a small little pot where you can put stuff in, for an example. So what you can do here is take the faces. Let me just create an edge on the bottom first. Like so. Ah. Delete this, grab these edges. I'm going to do a small little design here for the lid. And a small little cap on the top. And fill that hole, and there we go. Perfect. This you can copy it multiple times. I can do a few ones here, a smaller one. Create some variations, it's actually pretty nice. There we go. A flask is quite easy as well. So a flask, we're going to get a cylinder. Faces, delete, object mode, control one, edges, and I'm just going to start creating this flask. What you can do as well is start moving upwards, scaling as you go, until you get to this point, where now you can do a small little Copy, create that for the bottleneck. Small little one. Or actually what we can do is a kind of a nice lip here. So we'll go up. And move all the way down. There we go. Control one, I'm gonna scale this down. Control D, you can do a few different variations if you want to. Smaller one. And so on and so forth. So for the candles, quite simple. Again, a cylinder, move it into place. Faces, delete these, grab the edges. Uh, we need to scale this down, way down. There we go. Edges, grab these edges and start shaping the bottom of the candle. You can do some cool designs here, so you can do a small little one here. And at the end, you're going to be creating the small little platform where the candle is going to sit. There you have it, the candle holder. Uh, 
control D, put another one here. And the candle is just a normal cylinder, just place it. Perfectly fine. For the crystal ball, we can do something pretty nice here as well. We can do a, another cylinder for the platform. So faces, actually vertices here, just let me grab these, put them down, shrink them in. Delete those. Oop, I messed up one. There we go. Delete these. Edges, grab them all, scale them in. Good, grab a sphere, change views so it's a bit easier for me to see what I'm doing. Okay, top view, press 4 on your keyboard. Shelf, pretty simple. Grab a box. What I love to do with these kind of uh, bookshelves is keep them completely separate, separate pieces. So what I do is I create a piece for the sides. Like so. Control D, move it to the other side. Then Control D again, copy it, rotate this 90 degrees, so make sure that your attribute editor is there, 90, and move it up, scale it, Control D, move it down, Control D, move it to the middle. Grab these, right click combine, grab these, right click combine. And we can start putting some books on the shelf. Control D. A bit of variation is nice. Like so. And you can have whatever you want on the bottom piece. So basically, this is how you're going to create your environment. In the next video, we're going to look at how to start creating materials and how to create effects and unwrapping certain things. So we're going to go into an in-depth tutorial of how to use Arnold for Maya to create the lighting, the effects, and everything. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please like and subscribe and uh, comment if you have any questions. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.